My, what an energetic start there. God, how can I live up to that? I feel like I should be going, Hey, YouTubers! I'm afraid you're just stuck with me. Well, at least until somebody better comes along. Anyway, let's get to this video. And that's going to be about making a level 1 non-spell user, so a fighter, using Dakadin's excellent update, using the new core RPG for Rollmaster Classic. So let's crack on. When you start, you'll probably get a campaign setup guide. Um, can be used to do certain things, but in this case, you might be missing some modules. So click on Next, load your modules from here. Rollmaster Classic Core Rules, Rollmaster Classic All Rules. If that's missing, you just go to your Options, go to your Setup, and you'll find it in there. It's all loaded for me, so I'm going to crack on here and make a character. Click on Characters. Click on the green circle. Give the character a name. Profession. All right, so a load of professions here, clicking on the professions icon on the side. By the way, if you want to change these, go into library. You can change them to the GM version, players, creating PC, everything. So we're just going to use create PCs today. So here's professions. I want to make a fighter. So just going to drag the red icon, drop it into professions. There it's there. If you want to find out about it, click it there. Now, there is a little walkthrough. You go to library, character law character creation walkthrough and I'll use that to make a few to use that as my guide in case I get lost along the way but let's see we've done professions so race and culture right so I want to make a, a common man so click on races have a look through them all common man drag the icon drop it into race now when I want to check up the racial details for this tells me all about them hit dice number of languages so let's add some languages now right click add new Right click, add new, put some languages in there, Malini for example, Emer, using Shadow World type stuff here, writing, not too good this chap, speaking, uh, Emer, reasonably good, and Alini, yeah, passable. Right, so that's that, close this down, so let's scroll down a bit, go into race and culture. Find all about all your different races, all different cultures. But I'm skipping through really for the physical appearances. Find out general appearance, and I want random size. So how big is this person? Open-ended. 42. Looks quite average. 42 for a common man is 5 foot 10, 170 pounds. Height, 5 foot 10, 170 pounds. Let's check about frame size. Random frame, D100. Double click. 51. So a human male, 51. Is average. No change there. Okay. So, because I've got a terrible memory forgotten already. 5 foot 10 was 170. Okay. 170. Right. Realm here. Will I see this? Let's just change this to mentalism. It's going to be level 1. I'll do this towards the end. Gender. Male. Now, as I type here, sorry if you get little clicky effects, it's just the way the mic picks it up. I'll try and speak reasonably loud so it drowns it out, but we'll have to see. Age, 22. Hair, brown. Eyes, blue. Well, let's move on. So, clicking on through here, done all that. On to the stats. I'll drag this out a little bit here. So, the stats, click the little magnifying glass. Here's all your stats here. Nothing done at the moment, so we do initial stat generation, clicking on that button. Roll them all. You can see here you've got your prime stats. You know, Reroll any low ones. Oh, look, we've got 100 there. Very nice. Now, how you work these around is you just use the up and down triangles to jiggle them around. So I want to put this one, looking very nice, into strength. Click them up, up, up. That's in strength. And then if you want to move anything down, so constitution's not a bad one. 24 for 87. And move these all around. So I'm going to cut the video while I move these up and down because it'll just take too long okay i'm going to keep those like that i click on apply close that down now i want to do background actually so before i close this bound down i remember my background options imagine i've forgotten just click on common man it tells me background option six so in the notes i'm just going to add those now i'm going to do three by one here because i want to go three stats up by one so using this, temporary at the moment for Constitution is 1994. I want that to go up at some point, because I want that to be 95 one day. 
Now there's 100. That's a nice little, nice, nice little increase. That leaves one less. Now, I know a 98 to 99 one day will be a good little increase. So I'm going to close this down now. Close that down. Go back to main. I've done those stats. Let's move on. Click on through this to go to backgrounds. And I really need the background options if I've got them. You can read all this, scroll down if you like. It's all there. But I'm going to go to background options. Scroll down here. And it's got my background options. So what we're going to do here is we're going to mix most of these. I'm going to notes. First one, why do we do space after each of these? When you drag in, it makes it easier. Let's do special abilities. Click. Now you could choose, but I'm going to roll. You can choose whatever it is just to make things quick. <laughs> okay, like I'm for boy. Shape shifting. Can't say that word. That's the special ability. Special item. Re rolls a few times until I get a weapon type. So, what do we get? Plus 10 bonus magic item. Great, okay. We'll have a plus 10 magic hand axe. And let's give them something else as well. Plus 15 non magic. Plus 15. I was going to say non magic. It's going to be a combo. Close that down. Right, now we've got some special wealth. Just so we don't have to worry about money. Rolly, rolly. 10 gold pieces. Go into inventory. It's where you find all your coins. Starts with two gold, so there's 12. Back down to here for the last option, which is the going to be the status. Click. Roll. Uh, multicultural, multilinguistic. Two, three additional languages of your choice. Oof. One, two, three. So if you're that multicultural, fair enough, pal. You can now have tens in those languages. And now I'm going to have to quickly remember. Is it Namari? Is it Loari? And I can't think of another one from Shadow World. I'll leave that blank now. Whatever you want it to be, player. Close these down. That's the background points done. Moving on. Skills. Go to your skills tab. Click on skill dev. Up comes your skill dev box with no skills in anywhere. Add all your primaries. Add all your secondaries. How this works. You've got your primary DPs, 32 of these. You've got your secondary, 8 of those. 25% is set up at this point. Remember, you can use primary DPs to increase secondary DPs, but you can't go the other way around. And then it totals them all. So I'll take too long doing this, so I'll just show you a couple and then we'll cut the video when I finish. But let's do, say, two in body development. So ranks here, new ranks, two new ranks. One DP and another three DP is a total of four DPs. It's taken off that total, so I spent four, got 28 left. It's not a secondary skill, so it hasn't gone down. If I do a secondary skill, say, for example, acrobatics, one rank takes me two DPs. It's taken off this total, not that and spent overall six, and it's just a matter of going through and changing these. So I'm going to do all that and then cut the video and I'll start again once I've done that. Okay, so I've added in the skills I wanted to. It's given me, I've done exactly how many DPs I wanted for primary and for secondary. That gives me none remaining. Click on add new ranks, adds them all in. I'll just move this to one side so you can see. Nothing in here, nothing in here, add a new ranks. In the all go, a little summary in the chat box for you. I'll pop that back. Now that's the adolescence. What we'd need now to do is do stat gains and then redo the skills for the level one. So we can leave all that up if we want. Just go back to here, back to stats, go to stat gain, click on it, roll it all. Hope we don't get any negatives. Okay, this time, click on apply to add the new stats. So they're all in there. Done with the stats now. That's the stat gain done. And back to your skills for level one. Don't need to put that, but I'm going to put there anyway. Level one. Now, one thing is moving in chain here. At the moment, I've got a 38. Now, I want to know about the moving penalties there. So I go to items, type in chain. Here's the chain shirt and grease. Click on that. Negative 90 penalty, 
negative 15 means you've got to get a skill about 75 to have the best I can be in that. 75, what is it at the moment? 38. So I am 37 off. I'll do four ranks. So 37 really is seven ranks I need in this to be at minus 17, I believe. So I've got minus five to find. So I'm going to take some off climb and one off martial arts. And that leaves me one remaining. Okay, so again, I'm going to mess around with these skills. I'll cut the video and I'll restart in a minute. Okay, faffed and fiddled. Primary DP, so I had one left, so I used that to put it into secondary, hence why it's at minus one remaining, but overall I've got zero. I can add the new ranks, and I'm done here really. What I'm going to do is go into skills, and I'm going to rename some of the generics here. For example, I had adrenal moves here. Click on this, there's a number available. I'm going to do adrenal strength. I'm just going to rename that. Adrenal strength, or strength. Also, I had some of the weapons. Oh, okay. Let me just remove... See, see, we've got a load of skills here. Go to skills. Go to skill dev again. And I'm just going to remove untrained secondaries and untrained primary. Makes it much clearer now. So weapon one is going to be a hand axe. Call this what I like. I'm going to actually write hand axe. Uh, weapon two is my comp bow. Uh, weapon three is going to be a two-handed. I'm not sure what I want for two-handed. So, and he got items here. Clear that out. Drop this down. Here's all different category. Down to two-handed weapons. Here's the different choices. Uh, I'm going to fancy a flail. A lot going on now, so I can choose which book to use from. Say Arms Law. Use a flail from there. So let's use a flail. So I'll click in here. I'm going to call it flail. Call it what you like. It's just the name of the skill. Now, now that I've done that, weapon skills, you need to start associating what those are. So a comp bow, the stats for that is AG, AG, ST, or DT, ST. For the flail, it's uh, strength, strength, agility. And for the hand axe, same thing. Strength, strength, agility. Let's, while we're here, martial arts strikes. Now, I always forget what the stats are for here. Let's just say uh, strikes are strength, strength, agility. I don't think it is that, but that's all right. You fix it. You know what it is. You've got the time to check this. Right. While we're here, let's sort out the gear. So we want everything. We want all, all categories. Let's grab some arrows. R. Go into inventory and just drag them across. Drag it, drop it into inventory. What is it? Is it carried here at the moment? Well, it is, but I'm going to be using arrows at some point, so I'm going to equip them. What we need as well, we need a quiver. Drag that in, drop it in. That'll be equipped. Hand axe, and we're going to go through these. So I'm going to cut the video and just drag and drop the, the items in to save some time. Okay, I've added some things in there. Um, there'll be plenty more to go along. Let's look along what it's doing. It's adding up the encumbrance for you because it's checking each of these and telling you what they are. For example, it knows the weight of these things, how much they cost. Just equip some stuff. Equip the flail, the helm, the shield, the hand axe, the comp bow, the shirt. Now, let's associate some skills with these items because we want to use them in combat. So the chain shirt, composite bow needs to be associated. Click on the little red twisty, unlock it, and go down to associated skill. Associated skill with the composite bow. I believe I called it comp bow. Comp bow. Now, remember, I'll drag this out of the way. Remember in the notes, we had a non-magic comp bow. So the weapon bonus here, 15. Lock that up. We had a hand axe, and that was a 10 magic. So what skills it associated with? Hand axe. And it was a 10 magic. Lock it up. Had a flail, which is just a mundane item. 
And what skill was that associated with? One I called flow. Lock that up. So they're all associated with what they need to be associated with. Let's pop them into the combat tab. Now, the GM probably would do this. But just to show you, I'm going to click on my weapons. So I've got a composite bow, a flail, and a hand axe. And I'll go to the combat tab. Nothing in there yet. Drag the hand axe, drop it in. Finish with you for now. Drag the flail, drop it in. Finish with you for now. Drag the composite bow, drop it in. Finish with you for now. Martial arts, remember I had a strike skill? So click on martial arts, go to strikes, drag it in, drop it, close that off. Better associate this with the skill. Unlock, oh, it's already unlocked. Associated skill was my martial arts strike. Martial arts strikes, lock it back up. That's done. Let's start equipping some things. So we had a chain shirt and greaves. We had a full helm. We had a composite bow. Well, let's put a hand axe in there. And let's put a shield in there. No spell adder. All right. So look at this. You've got metal armor on here. So calculate all of this for you. Your AT. Your MM penalty. DB. When this gets added, or when the GM adds this character now to the combat tracker, all your attacks and defenses will come up. What have we got left to do? Level bonuses, I suppose. Skip on through this. I'm using the optional one, expanded level. Click, click. Fighters have plus three to combat, plus one to outdoor, plus three to body dev. Down to skills, under the level column, body development was a three. Climb is an outdoor skill, that's a one. Military. Combat, 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 outdoor skill, mm, signaling outdoor skill, well, same no. Outdoor skill, outdoor skill. Well, actually, level bonus is in. No need to put in for the items, because we've done that. Close this down. Why well, haven't we done? Haven't done the hits yet. Now, if you've got any hit dice, remember, you can just go into your main, go into your race, and it'll tell you hit dice is D8. Back to the skills. Looks like we've got four d8s so drag your d8 hold it with the left hand mouse button with the left hand mouse button down now click on your right mouse button for how many you need need four drop them in <coughs> excuse me 22 not bad so 22 in there go to the main tab now current xp is 10,000 appearance haven't done so what's your presence at the moment zero so it's just a straight d100 46 Average looking chap. Just leaves a portrait, really. Okay, so double click. Go to your choice. And then pick who you want it to be. So, there we go. Scary looking person. That's it, you're done. Cheers.